everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here to discuss Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. Rash? It actually sounded like Rash when I was listening to the audiobook of this, so who knows? Verdict's out on that. But this is the book for December for the Page Turners Book Club, which I will leave linked down below if you want to partake in the discussion for this book and kind of see what we're going to be reading in the next month. So I'm just going to jump right into my thoughts. These are going to be clearly spoilery because this is kind of just a discussion video for everybody in the group to talk about this in the comments and in the Goodreads discussion thread. But I'm going to kind of jump around with my thoughts about the series and just give you my overall opinion on it. So I don't know why I waited so long to read the series because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I have been in the worst reading slump ever of this year. This was literally the first book that I picked up in the month of December and I picked it up in like the middle of the month somewhere around like the 15th. Yeah it's been it's been a rough month for reading for me guys but this this did it. This pulled me right on out of it. I gave it four stars. I had a little bit of some cons along with a whole list of pros for it so I'm gonna get into those now. I personally really like stories where different kingdoms and lands have unique characteristics or traits or powers. I think this is mainly rooted in my love of the Avatar series where each of the kingdoms represents an element and so pretty much any other series that kind of follows suit where each kingdom of like lands divided by different powers or characteristics. I just I love that concept. So the idea of different seasons existing in each of the different lands and then there being rhythm seasons in between that actually cycle through them was so cool because let me tell you how much I wouldn't live in Winter Kingdom. I just wouldn't. I hate being cold. I would live perpetually in autumn and it would be amazing all the time. I would just drink pumpkin stuff all the time and I would wear hoodies and it would just be a good time all around. Anyway, I really like the different take on the kingdoms being different seasons. And on that note, I really thoroughly enjoyed that Rosh didn't take the easy route and make our main focus protagonist group um, spring and that she made spring the actual like villainous kingdom because I feel like that would have been the easy way of writing the story where spring is literally coming out of like the villainous clutches of winter kind of like how it actually symbolically does that with the rhythm of the seasons changing because I feel like that could have like symbolically been a very easy story to write as in like the spring grasses and flowers like finally emerging from the clutches of winter. I just really like that she didn't take that approach. I really appreciate that as a writing standpoint. As far as characters go, I loved Sir. Sir reminded me so much of the mace in the Queen of the Tearling series. Actually a lot of this series reminded me of the Queen of the Tearling series, only like the YA version. So if you liked this book, definitely check that out if you want kind of a more adult version of the story. It's very, it has a lot of very parallel characteristics in it. But I loved Sir. And let me tell you the emotional roller coaster that I went through with Sir because he was like alive and the father figure that she just wanted approval and then he was dead and then he was alive again. And there was just, there's just so much, so many emotions happened. But I loved him as a character. I liked Mira. I feel like she is kind of the stereotypical YA protagonist though. I don't think anything really stood out and was super relatable for her for me. I feel like she is kind of the only con of the series for me because she is a very cliche YA female protagonist who turns out to be the special snowflake lost heir to the throne and has special abilities that we all knew were coming. That's kind of the only thing that I feel like was a cop out in the series because I mean we all know that's gonna happen but I'm gonna be honest I really like that trope. I know that it's overdone but I really like that whole concept when a girl kind of comes into power and we all saw it coming as soon as she pretty much was like oh I'm nothing to Mather he'll never marry me because I'm just nobody obviously she's gonna be somebody so going along that note I actually didn't mind the love triangle as soon as they introduced um Theron I was just like oh god as soon as they start giving the descriptions of another male lead I'm just like, well, there's a love triangle. He's coming into the picture. As soon as they describe his beautiful locks of flowing hair and muscly arms, you know it's coming. But I think I am actually on team Theron for this love triangle, which is weird for me. I normally stick to like the original pairing of people just because I feel bad for the original guy if he kind of gets shoved out by a new person. But I actually really like Theron. I like how he is with Mira and I just like his character. He seems like he's gonna grow a lot in the series. So 
I liked, I liked Theron a lot. So those are kind of my overall thoughts. What did you guys think? I think a lot of you liked this a lot more than the past two months, so I hope that that kind of improved your reading experience. At least it did for me. I personally really enjoyed it. And feel free to share all of your thoughts in the comments down below. As far as next month's books go, my first choice was a write-in that one of you wrote in for last month, and that is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, which I am all for reading, and I feel like winter... For some reason right now, I feel like a lot of people are very slumpy, and contemporaries tend to read a lot easier and get me out of a slump. So I'm going to throw this into the poll if you guys would like to read this. Also thinking about reading Heartless, which is behind my display, or Nevernight, which is behind my display over here. Um, I will leave both of those linked down below if you would like information about those. Or if you guys want to read the next book in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, I would be more than welcome to read that. I need to get my hands on a copy of it because I don't have it yet, but I'm all for that. Or if any of you have suggestions, feel free to write them in or leave them down below. I always take those into consideration. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed reading it this month. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys on all of the, all of the medias. And I'll see you guys in my next video.